Okay, let's look at question number 14, part A. This is the vectors question. All right. So, A is given to be minus i plus j, B is i plus 2j with respect to origin O. So, OA is minus i plus j, OB is i plus 2j. Let C be the point such that OC equals 2OB. So, OC is 2OB, which is 2i plus 4j, right? D is a point such that DC is parallel to AB and AD is perpendicular to AB, right? Show that OD is equal to minus 8 over 5 plus 11 over 5. Right. Let me take OD as xi, yj. I need to find x and y. Right. To use the given conditions, I have to create three vectors, dc, ab, and ad. So let me create those vectors. ab is ao plus ob or OB minus OA. So I plus 2J minus minus I plus J. So AB vector is 2I plus J. So AB is done. Then let me create AD. AD is AO plus OD. So OD minus OA, OD is XI plus YJ minus OA, OA minus OA becomes plus I minus J. So I get AD as X plus 1 I plus Y minus 1 J, OD minus OA. Yes, correct. So x plus 1, y minus 1. Then I have to create a, b. So a, b I created d, c. d, c vector is d, o plus o, c. So o, c minus o, d vector. So o, c is what? Two i plus four j minus o d is x i plus y j. So then d c vector is two minus x i plus four minus y j. Right. So now we have all the required vectors. Now let's create two equations to find x and y using these two dc is parallel to ab so that means dc is equal to some constant k times ab vector so 2 minus x i plus 4 minus y j is going to be equal to ab vector times k so k times 2i plus j So that gives you 2ki plus kj. So from here, these two vectors are equal. So I can create two equations. 2 minus x equals 2k. And 4 minus y equals k. Then I can combine these two into a single equation by substituting sub 2 into 1 and I get 2 minus x 8 minus 2y so x minus 2y is equal to minus 6 that is our first equation so we have two unknowns so I need another equation so that is why we have given 
we have been given this condition also these two vectors are perpendicular so ad is perpendicular to ab means the dot product is zero ad vector is what x plus one so x plus one i plus y minus one so ad dot ab would be zero because they are uh, perpendicular so this dot a b which is 2i plus j is going to be 0 so that means multiply the i components together and j components together so x plus 1 into 2 plus y minus 1 into 1 equal to 0 so the second equation is what 2x plus y plus 2 minus 1 goes to this side minus 1 so equation 2 then I can do what 1 times 2 minus second so 2x 2x cancel minus 4y minus y becomes minus 5y minus 5y equals minus 11 so y equals 11 over 5 so then from the first equation x minus 2y so x minus 22 over 5 is equal to minus 6 so x is equal to 22 over 5 minus 6 so minus 8 over 5 so then od vector is minus 8 over 5 i plus 11 over 5 j which is what we wanted to find right then they are saying e be the point of intersection of a b and o d there's a b and there's o d so E is the intersection point of these two and we have to show that AE is equal to 1 over 10 AB, right. So we know AB vector which is 2Y plus J and OD vector also we just found minus 8 over 5 I plus 11 over 5 j right we need to show a e is equal to 1 over 10 a b right so what we can do is write a e vector in two different ways and equal them and get the correct ratio so let me write a e first like this a e is what on a b line so then it's going to be parallel to a b so a e can be written as lambda a b so 2 lambda i plus lambda j let me label this equation as equation 3 then i need to write a e in another way a e can also be written as what a o plus o d i have to connect no, not OD, OE. OE. So AO is what? AO is minus OA. Minus OA. So I minus J. I minus J. Minus OA. I minus j o e is what o e vector is on o d line so some other constant times o d you can say mu times o d vector so then a e can be written as what i minus j uh, mu times o d so minus 8 over 5 mu i plus 
11 over 5 mu j right so then simplify and get the second equation ae is 1 minus 8 over 5 mu i plus 11 over 5 minus 11 over 5 mu minus 1 j so now i let me write the third equation back here then compare them 2 lambda i plus lambda j so what do we get these two vectors are equal no? so then you can compare the i components together so you get 2 lambda oh let me write it like this 1 minus 8 over 5 mu equals 2 lambda by comparing the i's then by comparing the j's you get 11 over 5 mu minus 1 equals lambda right then sub 6 into substitute 6 into uh, 5 so you get 1 minus 8 over 5 mu 22 over 5 mu minus 2 so then 30 over 5 mu is equal to 3 so mu is equal to half then what is lambda lambda is equal to 11 over 10 minus 1 1 over 10 right so then right we can use this one a e is equal to lambda a b so lambda is 1 over 10 so that is what we wanted to show a e is equal to lambda a b so 1 over 10 a b so that is the answer for the vectors question next we'll do the coplanar forces question